Hello, Cancer. Rambling Mike here. Going to play a little bit of tarot with you. Thanks for tuning in one more time. Appreciate your time. Your view. Thanks for your subscription. Hitting that like button one more time. I always want to take a minute of gratitude and thank all my many, many Cancer friends that have blessed me over the years. If you've ever blessed me in any way, shape, or form, Cancer, thank you so very much. So very kind of you. I am looking for love cards tonight. I have a new tarot deck here. First time I played with it was with my Cancer babies right here. It's a new Mr. Marchetti. It's the Voice and Vision. Voice and Vision. I think I'm going to clarify it tonight. The old he said, she says, with Dancing in the Dark. I would start with some love cards, even though these can be relationships, friends. It can be about homework, the neighbors, the family. But I'm looking for a love story right here for my Cancer baby. So I'm going to start with some love cards and a couple of major arcana to top off your spread. All that being said, Cancer, let's do it. Let's have some fun, play some tarot. Some of the energy coming in here for Cancer, love team. Thank you for this card out. Keep an open mind. Oh, keep an open mind. We're shifting gears around here. That's an interesting card. It says your soulmate may differ from your usual type or expectation. You know, let's, let's open minded. Can't talk about an approach, huh? Wow, that's nice. Let's show it to you. A safe place the love came out. Oh, that that might be a different that might be a different type right there, huh, Cancer? Keep an open mind. There may be a safe place for love showing up around here. Okay, okay, Cancer babies, give me some more right here. What do we got, Cancer? Cancer, Cancer. Let your friends help you. Hmm. You let your friends help you. You know, I always put let your friends help you pack. Um, I wonder if you're letting a situation go, maybe more than one situation. Because we got to keep an open mind. You got to let your friends help you. Uh huh. And the safe place to love has showed up. Oh, are you leaving behind all that unrequited love from last year? Perfect. Let your friends help you leave unrequited love where it belongs in the past. Cancer. I got nice cards here for you showing up in the near future. Because that's keep an open mind. Like, you know, they can be challenging after all unrequited love. Cancer. I got a new love card for you. <laughs> hey, Happy New Year, Cancer. Oh, wow, look what's underneath that. Oh, Cancer. Oh, Lordy. New love, true love, safe place to love. Could it be? Could it be? Says so keep an open mind. Your soulmate may be different than your usual type. Perfect, perfect. Is that usual type is that old unrequited love. And always calling your friends. Can I borrow your truck again? <laughs> Let's go. Cancer. Cancer, babies. Let's play with uh, voice and vision. Voice and vision. Sierra Marchetti's new tarot deck right here. Let's play with it. Cancer, cancer, it's freestyle, freestyle here. Let's cut it and see what's on the bottom. Overall energy, cancer. New love's on the board, my friend, the moon. The moon right there. You know, as soon as I saw this right here, the moon, it can, you know, it is divine feminine energy. It is Pisces energy. It has to do with the subconscious right here. Um, I, I flashed back to an older uh, serum or said Mystic Palette, where it shows a character pulling themselves up, pulling themselves up into a new world, you know, from that old, you know, you're changing the way you think and you feel and you believe about yourself. It's very well could be talking about that. A change, consciousness expansion, falling in love with you. Let's go. That's divine feminine energy as an overall right here. Let's go. Cancer babies. And that is your major arcana, if you ask me. The moon card. It's your planet. It's the moon. I bet there's a lot of you having breakthrough with yourself. That's what love's all about. 
All right, keeping an open mind. Ooh, that would line up with that moon card right there. Here we go, here we go, Cancer. Cancer, babies, here we go, Cancer. A page of swords. Wow, that's my little looky-loo right there. That's my little looky-loo. That's uh, somebody standing up on the uh, on the top of the castle, the, you know, the princess of swords. She's always looking for something fun to do. This, this could be somebody that's had their eye on you for a minute. They may be a little nervous about communication. That is a communication card here for me. Unrequited love. Keep an open mind. Safe place to love, new love, true love. Okay, man, let's go. You got somebody's got their eye on you. Somebody wants to say something to you over here. Cancer. Oh, five of swords. Oh, we, we may have retrograde energy showing up around here. Cancer, five of swords for me, you know, especially with a little page of swords right there. I know there may be some cancers just clicking off right now, but I'm going to read my cards. This all came out on Keep an Open Mind. Uh, page of swords, looking at five swords, right? That's that energy about standing up, putting yourself up in the front of the card of your life, firing somebody or putting somebody in the timeout chair. Now, you got new love over here, but if it, it, it's somebody from the past, they don't want to let it go. I can see that already right here. Yeah, they don't want to let it go. Give me a card right here. Cancer. Cancer's, cancer's uh, changing the way you think and you feel and you believe about love. Oh, I said that right there and Seven of Cups came out. Well, you may have a lot of options, Cancer. <laughs> that old looky-loo that got fired over there, you know, unrequited love, a lot of air, you know, somebody all up in their head, don't know how to connect with their emotions. I got you, man. Look at this. You got a lot of options around here. Choose wisely. Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may be different than your usual type. I don't even know if you're thinking about them right there. Let's go. Let's go. Cancer babies. Cancer babies. Cancer. Give me a card, please. The magician showed up. Hmm. Uh, this is a number one card. For me, it's all about new beginnings. New beginnings, pure positive thoughts, pure positive words. I see just a huge uh, consciousness expansion right here. Falling in love with yourself. Learned a lot in 2023, didn't you? May just leave it in the past right there. Because that magician's got all four aces, Cancer. Ace of swords, ace of pins, ace of cups. A lot of wisdom there, too. It's my deliberate creator. It says you're manifesting a true love, new love story. Wow, justice came out, a major arcana for you. Uh, this is a card of a uh, breakthrough, karmic balance in your life. Three major arcanas coming out of that moon energy. You got a lot of options around you. Choose wisely. Got a magician to justice. It says you're manifesting balance in your love life. Cancer, very powerful right here. And you got somebody from the past. They keep looking at me right there. I wish them the best. If they come in with justice, there might be hope. Because I see cancer changing the way they think, they feel, and they believe. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, look. Well, it's right there. Let's shake them out. Let's shake these swords out of your love story right here. Three swords in this beautiful deck. Are you with me? Here we go. Out! Out, out of Cancer's heart, out of Cancer's spread. That's a golden coin right there I'm looking at. Could be a new offer. Could be something new. We do got new love, true love on here and a huge shift in Cancer's consciousness, which just means you falling deeply in love with yourself. 
Yeah, eight wands. What's going on around here? Cupid's arrows of love seem to be showing up behind the magician, manifesting karmic balance. Got a lot of options over here. Choose wisely. We did shake all those swords out. Cancer, very interesting right here. Major breakthrough and somebody. The telephone is ringing. Got eight wands showing up here. Eight wands. Give me something. Give me something. For cancer. Cancer. <laughs> Ten swords. I'm going to need to pull some more cards out. Again, this is the end of a very painful cycle. But the promise of a new day to dawn. We can give that right there. We can give that. Very interesting. Cancer. Cancer. A lot of change for the better right here. Ten swords is the end of the days of betrayal. I like everything I see for you right here. Seven of Wands came out. It's my hero's card. I'll pull out some more cards on it. Uh, again, this is an energy of... of uh, Oh, you got an offer. I wonder if it is from this past person. I probably get a lot of Kansas clicking off, man. We got 10 swords right there. I said that because of these pictures right here, Cancer. That's the page of Pentacles that somebody's been thinking a long time about communication. Start over here with that uh, page of swords, possibly. They may have earth in their chart. They may have air in their chart. Uh, you may have some fire in your chart. That's seven of wands. That's a blocking energy. Justice showing up. The magician. Somebody wants to manifest with you. Somebody wants to manifest with you. Uh, it's very clear to me. Definitely uh, retrograde energy. Major arcanas. Lots of them. Got to show them to you. Temperance showed up. There's a Sagittarius major arcana. Um, can be a reconciliation energy, a new world about an old cycle ending and a new cycle beginning. I mean, if you've been believing for change, there, it could very well be. See, very powerful cards here. Judgment, judgment, Scorpio, that's an energy of Phoenix from its ashes. And a very, very beautiful, you got four majors in a row right there. The star, which is uh, healing and dreams coming true. So for some of you, there's been some major change in your divine masculine. Let's see what's going on for others of you. <laughs> oh, yeah. This is for somebody that's been believing, has been believing for change, been believing for change in their divine masculine, be, it, uh, be they male or female. This is Seven of Pentacles. It's the old divine timing card. It's harvest time. You may have, uh, yeah, yeah. Again, hangman, right? That's somebody changing their perspective. And, uh, well, seeing where their ships are really at. I wish them the best right here. Let's pull out some cards on them and get nosy around here because they definitely showed up in your energy, Cancer. It definitely showed up in your energy. It looks to me like you told them to go sit down and think about themselves. You know, I don't know how long this could have been. Last week, last month, last year, five years. But you got you got a wheel of return continue to show up in your spread. That is an omen of good luck and good fortune. Sagittarius one more time. So let's see. Let's see, Cancer. I think your divine masculine showed up right here, male or female. And this is an energy, if, to be honest with you, if you wonder why these people keep might be showing up in your spread, this is an energy of holding on to it. It's an energy of holding on to it and trying to block it. <laughs> here we go, man, here we go. What's a Cancer's Emperor thinking and feeling about Cancer right now? Oh, retrograde season. Give me a card right here. Cancer. Yep, there's that oral card. Major Arcanas, guys. They want to end an old cycle. And they want to start a new cycle. I'm telling you, telephones. Oh, here's the new cycle. Is that the new cycle? Did, did they change? 
Did they change? Is this the old cycle right here? Ten swords? The ten cups? Oh. <laughs> Well, you know, hey, you know, if you've got a divine partner and you change, don't be surprised if they change. That's all I'm going to say right now. You're a new person every second. And so are they. They're going to follow. They're going to follow the magician's lead. You know, these are pretty magical stuff right here. Anyway, the magician showed up. So... That's pure positive thoughts. Oh, <laughs> here they come, man. That's a great adventure right there. Oh, it's a great adventure heading towards a magician. My deliberate creator, I told you, you know. If you want to let it go, let it go. They seem to be bringing in a, a golden coin. That's the cornerstone of the Ten of Pentacles. Ah, uh, they won victory after the battle. It took some confidence for this person to get their courage up, get their hoots up. And uh, oh, here, here's the here's the apologies to the queen of love. Let's see what Cancer's thinking and feeling about all this right here. Let's see what Cancer's thinking and feeling about all this right here, love team. Give me some Cancer, Cancer. Cancer, Nine of Swords, Sleepless Nights, uh, Angry, sitting on the edge of the bed, oh Lord, Mike said the telephone's going to be ringing, I remember that to be a Ten of Wands situation, a heavy burden, I threw that, I threw that load down, I threw that load down, but I may, I may feel that there is some kind of connection here, uh, with two cops, Maybe, 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 <laughs> but but I'm I'm gonna be single for a minute. I'm gonna be single for a minute. Let's see them bring in their best shot. Hit me with your best shot, cause I already got it going on around here. You better come in with this golden coin. If you don't got a golden coin, I gotta go. That's what it says to me, Cancer. So you may give them a shot right here. Uh, see if they're bringing love and the love pudding, darling. You know, it's retrograde season around here. You never know what you got until it's gone. Give me a ma give me a major right here for my cancer, babies. Here we go. Oh, judgment, judgment. Oh man, maybe uh, one last shot right here. You see, who is this? Is this your own divine masculine, male or female down there? Deboosh, oh. What the, what in the world has been going on with them? Oh, who's this up here? Cancer. <laughs> Cancer. Cancer. Uh, baby, please don't go down to New Orleans. Look, now there's a journey right here. They're going to have to climb this mountain. They're going to have to do it. They're going to have to do it for, you know, for it's too late. It's a judgment right there. That's just a card of epiphanies and enlightenment. That's what I see happen with cancer. That's what the reading started right here. Uh, consciousness expansion, realizing how amazing you are. Don't be surprised if you got a, a divine counterpart, if you see change in them and all that, man. Give me a card right here. And the Empress. That's beautiful, man. That's Venus. And again, my cancer friends. Um, she doesn't chase anybody. She doesn't chase anybody. That's Taurus, Libra. Um, the uh, judgment card is Scorpio. She doesn't chase anybody, right? She uses the law of attraction to attract to her love and abundance of the highest degree. There's a shot at love right here. You will know what's going on in your world. May all your dreams come true, my cancer friends. Love and light. Bye for now.